Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a compact heavy finesse jig. In the vise we have a 3 8 ounce weedless ball head jig with a 2 watt Mustad 32 796 uh, heavy wire hook. It is weedless. The color is Magic Craw, which is green pumpkin with a blue hue to it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a blue pearlescence in it that really um, makes it pop. It's a, it's a great color. I always like watermelon Magic Craw. Uh, this is a different deal here. This is really nice. So we're going to get started with some olive two tendon ear flat wax nylon thread. Get our base. Clip the excess. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add, this is plain old watermelon magic craw. Just watermelon with a blue tint to it. And we get it situated just above. You don't have to put it up too high. We're going to clip it off right above the head. I think we're good with distribution wise. Yep. We'll tighten her down. Now we're gonna add, since it's green pumpkin magic raw, we're gonna add some plain ordinary green pumpkin Dalmatian. We're going to add a whole tab of that. This is going to be like a, a 52 strand skirt. Make a wrap. Put half on the, the bottom here and then half on the top. It's easier than trying to work a whole tab around. Looks pretty good. That's what's nice about having a rotary vise that you can do that. Uh, for many years I used a regular two-way vise and that was fine. Uh, but now I'm kind of spoiled. Using using a vise like this is a, a lot, saves you a lot of headache. Things are so much easier. It's more convenient than having to take the jig out of the vise, reposition it. Well, now we got our green pumpkin Dalmatian in. And we're going to add, this is watermelon magic craw Dalmatian. It's the same as what we first put on, only it's got that Dalmatian print, uh, the black splotches on it. I really love that black print. Uh, when you mix it in with uh, a regular color, it gives it a nice mottled appearance, looks natural. I think it helps. Whether the fish think so, um, I'd have to ask them. But I know it doesn't hurt because they bite it, that's for sure. And this here, this is like I said, this is you're using a heavy hook, it's a two watt. You're gonna fish this. Um you know, 15, 17 pound line, you're going to throw it moderate cover. I like throwing it around uh, brush. I personally fish it on 15 pound line. And what I like doing with it is making short pitches to uh, lay downs and uh, water willow. It's a really good jig for that. It's a smaller profile. But you still got the beefier hook. I want to make sure that I have all my silicone buttoned down before I put the last of it on. Otherwise, that's how you end up getting uh, some of your material trapped in your thread. So we're gonna just gonna take the quarter tab of this. Because we, we took a half a tab of this stuff and we 
cut it in half. You can set half on the bottom here and half on the top. Get it distributed all the way around. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just don't want it bunched up. Which it would help if I would have separated this made sure they weren't sticking together before I put it on there. There we go, that's good enough. No one aim. <laughs> the one strand just keeps pulling back on me and I don't know why. There. That's good. Now we'll just finish off the collar. And call it a day. Now I can make these collars smaller, but um, I kind of like having it that way. It really pushes against the material and uh, it Definitely isn't going to get uh, beat up, that's for sure. It's going to stay intact, no matter what kind of cover you throw it into. Now, put our head cement on here. And again, this loom stuff, this uh, water-based head cement, one of the nice features besides being fast drying is that it doesn't leave a residue on the silicone. So if I get some on there, it's not a big deal. And we got some other little things that we're going to do here before we finish this. Now, we have everything tied in. We're going to, when I do these, I like to pull it and just cut it just a little bit above the head. That seems to be uh, a good length for that. And then we're going to take it out of the vise. I'm going to cut it just uh, maybe an inch. Always cut it a little further than you want, though, because you, you can always take some more off. You can't add any. That's pretty good. Now we're going to add our weed guard. And this is where we did a little different deal here. What I did, if you could see that, I back cut it. And the reason why is on this compact version, we're going to be very close to the, the tip. So I cut it back a little bit. That's going to give me full coverage, but it's also going to back it away from the hook point a little bit. So we're going to take our Loctite Super Glue Gel. Put a little bit in the hole here. Line up our weed guard and put it in. So far, so good. Now, you see this weed guard, how um, it doesn't matter that I cut some of the strands off because I'm going to shorten this. And when you shorten them, when you take some of the length off, it actually is going to make it a little stiffer. And where I uh, cut it down to is right here, right at the barb. I'm going to push that down and I'm going to mark it there. And that's where I'm going to trim the weed guard. And now we have it shortened up a little bit. And we're going to put a trailer on this. This is a Berkeley Power Bait Meaty Chunk, Green Pumpkin Blue.
works really well with this. And what I do with it is I'm going to take about a quarter inch off the top. Just because I want it a little more compact. And we'll thread it on that we come out the bottom of this pad. Push it up onto the barb. There it is. That's the profile you get with this thing. And again, you got a heavy duty jig in a small compact profile, so you could throw this in some gnarly stuff. Uh, you can use some heavier tackle, you could get the big boys out, but it's a really nice uh, pared down presentation. You got that smaller profile, it's basically a big jig and a little package. It gets bit, and this color pattern is fantastic. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.